This gun was graciously provided by airsplat.com. If you want to know where to purchase this product for yourself, check the direct link down below in the video information. Hey guys, Jarek here, and welcome to my review of the Huaison Mad Max Double Barrel Shotgun. When you get your double barrel shotgun, it will come in a standard cardboard box. Nothing really stands out about this box. When you open the box, you have an instruction manual and a paper target to shoot. This instruction manual is actually rather lackluster. It does have a parts guide, so I would recommend keeping it, but other than that, there's nothing noteworthy to say about it. Also inside of the box, you'll find a small bag of 0.2 gram BBs. These seem decent enough to use, but you'll run out rather quick, so I would recommend buying more. And of course, you get your double barrel shotgun and two shotgun shells. Out of the box, this gun comes with two orange tips at the end of its barrels. Thankfully, you can pull these off by hand. There were also two more eyesores at the end of the barrels though. There were two rubber caps. I decided these rubber caps made the gun look rather awkward compared to what it should look like, so I was going to take them off. It wasn't until I pulled these off that I realized these were part of rubber pieces that actually extended farther into the outer barrel and kept the inner barrel in place. So if you want to take these rubber caps off, you're going to need to do some homemade fixes to make sure the inner barrel stays in place. But I do think it's worth it because this gun looks rather strange with the rubber caps at the end of the barrels. Build quality is about what you should expect from a shotgun that will cost you $200. The wood is real wood and arguably has the best finish on it I've seen out of any airsoft gun. And the metal is incredibly thick and very durable. Due to the way this gun is constructed, it's a lot heavier than you'd assume. This gun does have one structural weakness though. If you might have noticed, this shotgun only has one trigger when it's supposed to have two. And the reason is because the second trigger broke when I pulled it too hard. Or should it say when I was just firing the gun. This basically works like an airsoft grenade launcher and you need to be able to pull the triggers hard. If your triggers are snapping, that's a little bit of a problem. Now this hasn't been a widespread issue so maybe it was just a fluke, but do note this might possibly happen to your shotgun. Thankfully in my case, I can still pull the trigger even though it's broken, so that barrel works just like it worked before. The shotgun does have trademarks, but they're not authentic. At a glance, they look very good, but up close they ultimately harm the otherwise perfect looks of this gun. This gun works like your standard break action double barrel shotgun. The safety locks the triggers entirely, and you have one trigger per barrel, giving you full control over what barrel you fire and when and if you're so pleased, you can fire both at once. Breaking open this shotgun doesn't eject shells out of the barrels. Instead, it only pushes up the shells a little bit to where you can pull them out manually easily. This is replicated well here because although some real break action shotguns actually eject shells out of the barrels, most only push them out a little bit, just like you'll see here. You can either use green gas or propane with this gun. It's overall very simple to use. Simply pull the shell in half and fill the lower half of the shell with gas. Put the top half back onto the lower half of the shell, and fill it with BBs. Each shell can fit up to 7 BBs, meaning at max capacity, if you fire both barrels at once, you can fire up to 14 BBs at a time. Those of you that use grenade launchers may not think that's a whole lot, but it's definitely nothing to scoff at, especially if you're on the receiving end. The sights on this gun are overall good, and are very easy to assess quickly, but how often are you really going to be using iron sights on this gun anyway? I couldn't justify doing a full performance test of this shotgun, but Chrono couldn't read all 7 BBs at once, especially with so much gas interference, and there's no way you're hitting anything past about 50 feet, if that. Judging by what other people have said, and their Chronos, this gun fires 300 feet per second with a full shell. Considering the fact that it's firing 7 BBs at once, that's actually very respectable, and is definitely within CQB limits. That said, it is a sawed-off firing a lot of BBs at a time, so its range is very lackluster. But that's not really a bad thing, that's to be expected. It just gives you a very limited roll, and you should never try to take this into woodland. Disassembling this gun is incredibly easy. Simply take something like a flathead screwdriver, and lift up a tab on the foregrip. Pull the foregrip off, open the action on the shotgun, and pull the barrels off of the lower receiver. To put the gun back together, simply do all these steps in reverse order. So what do I think of this gun? Well, it doesn't really have much of a use. You could take it into CQB, but you'd only have two shots before a fairly cumbersome reload, and you need to buy a bunch of extra shells anyway which would be somewhat expensive. Two extra shells are $40. These shells also have very widespread reports of leaking, and ultimately being, well, useless over time. 
I can say I didn't have this issue with the shotgun shells, all four of mine worked perfectly fine, but when you get reports this widespread, you can't ignore them. That said, there's apparently a way to mod this shotgun to use Tanaka and Madbull 870 shells, so not all hope is lost. There is one very good use for this shotgun though. With the giant gas cloud this gun makes, and how good it looks, I could see this being a very very good movie prop. So if you're into making movies, and you need a shotgun, this is definitely the first place you should look. Other than that, would I recommend this shotgun? Even though I've been very critical of it, I would go ahead and say yes. It's a lot of fun to shoot, it looks absolutely gorgeous, and if you're into this type of thing, you really can't go wrong. Just don't be expecting to do very well with this if you really want to take it into an airsoft game. That about sums up my review of the Hawaii Sod Mad Max Double Barrel Shotgun. Hope you enjoyed it, and I'll see you guys next time. Ow. <laughs> Oops. I kind of just pushed my teammate off the roof. And he died a lot.